Hello, today I want to talk about a pattern called Singleton and we're going to discuss three ways of implementing it. So first of all, we will create a class called Singleton. And we'll make it public. And in it, we'll create a static version of it called instance and a public static singleton instance capital I and it'll be a property and we'll say if instance equals null uh, instance equals new singleton and in the end return instance I'll create a constructor no arguments or parameters and we'll create a hello world which will write it to the console and let's put in a bit of a pause so we don't miss it. So uh, this is an entire singleton and it's the easiest pattern, sort of the easiest bread and butter one. And what it does is we can call singleton instance hello world. And if we run this, we get hello world and it waits for our input. So we press the button. So uh, the, um, the way you want to use this is so that you only have one instance of your class and you can call it or access it from about anywhere in your program. So if I call this twice now, uh, I'll actually move this read key to afterwards. And when we run it, uh, we'll get this instance being null and uh, we run it then it creates the singleton instance and the next time it runs it let's go in here yes we want to go into it it'll see that well the instance has already been created so it returns the instance that we had since last and it'll print two hello worlds and we're done and if we go back to just having it once, we can create the next version of this. Uh, also, uh, before I uh, go any further, uh, here you can of course put some parameters uh, as long as they're reachable as we're asking for the instance, they could be here, but it needs to be able to, uh, you know, uh, what's the word? It needs to be able to compute them as it runs. Sorry for my bad English. Yeah. Um, so we'll make this a sealed class, so we also protect it from derivation. Uh, so you can't create another class, say public uh, class uh, Songleton. So we can't do this anymore, and it's to protect the instance as well from being uh, instantiated from a different class. So this one we want to make read-only and we want to instantiate it and we don't need this check anymore oops sorry uh, we don't need this we'll just return the uh, instance and uh, we'll get the same result sorry we also want to make this no sorry yeah this is this is fine so this is the other way to create it but it needs to be able to uh, be able to compute it at the CLR, uh, CLR, sorry, that's my Swedish coming in. And uh, it'll basically uh, do the same thing, but here we don't have the same kind of freedom, but it's kind of uh, safer uh, in a sense. It's not multi-thread safe still, but it kind of puts another spin to it. You don't have this if uh, instance is null, etc. But we want to make the multi-thread safe version now, uh, which could be good for you in some cases. Um, so we'll make this a volatile and we will, let me see, we'll create a new private static object. We'll call it the lock object and we'll have it create a new one there. And this is something that is called double checking, like double lock checking. So we'll check this if instance is null but if it goes in here, we want to kind of protect the important part, which is the 
kind of the old code that we already have. So we do another check for if instance equals null and uh, we do instance equals a new simpleton. So the good part about this one is it's thread safe. Now I'm going not going to launch two threads at the same time and kind of show you what could happen, but uh, because it, it would take kind of bad luck, but it can still happen. And that's why you want multi-thread uh, safe, um, uh, like singleton classes at some point. So if you have two threads running at the same time, uh, one doing work and another doing some other work, and they both need to use this singleton, like what could happen in the previous examples is that it uh, they both ask for it at the exact same time and they both see that the instance is null and they create their own versions of the singleton and after that they kind of vie for control of which uh, or they kind of get their own instance and this uh, thread safe version is if they both go in here first of all they have to get through this part and uh, if they both do uh, this lock object uh, or this lock on this lock object will prevent more than one thread to go in here and do the whole instantiation. So if the other thread is already here waiting for the lock, etc., uh, it it won't at least do this part because uh, or it it'll check the instance, but it'll have created one already. So you don't get two instances in that case, and that's how you make it multi-thread safe and. Uh, those are basically the three singleton patterns, at least that I know, and there might be more, but that'll give you some something to work with, and I hope that you have any kind of use for it. I hope you enjoyed watching, and thanks for staying around. Hope to see you in the next one.